the round, holding him, punishing him. It's open already. So nice, clean fight, tough gloves, and good luck to the both of you. And we're underway. Don't get low. Make sure every punch that he found the hole if he'll throw. Sometimes just laying it out there. Left up lands for Holyfield. Evander the Holyfield should get to that body and make him drop those hands. And Holyfield trying to tackle Lewis in the middle of the ring. It's a round. 17 punches a round won't win for Evander Holyfield. And he fences against the ropes as Lewis lands a right hand. Yeah, he takes a couple of pounds. That's a good left hook by Evander Holyfield. The level where the Holyfield fans are wondering why their man doesn't get off. Raucous noise in the upper deck. Where the, now, and he comes out in a very aggressive posture. Well, if he opens up to try to fulfill the round three prophecy, does Lewis get a chance with the right hand? The puncher's gloves. It's like a pillow. Those Holyfield gloves. landed a left hook inside and lands a right hand, and Lewis is stunned. Evander attacking, trying to fulfill the prophecy. Dude, I think he's trying to to set him up for something, George. I don't know what it is. Right hand right there. Right cross landed flush for Holyfield. Lewis seemingly stunned again. Prophecy. And so much for the round three knockout. Right hand only if you see it. Good. What you want the top of the shorter man to do is reach for everything. Lewis lands the jab and fires the right cross. A frequency. He just doesn't believe in this jab, though. Left hook lands for Holyfield. Backs Lewis into the corner again. Lewis with a right. And you heard Emmanuel Stewart say, come up with the uppercut. Lewis lands a right hand. Holyfield stunned against Holyfield on the defensive. Right hand lands again. Thunder in round five for Lewis. To the body. Following Hunter as he played possum, George. He's hurt. Yeah, he's had some body punching and they hurt. And the landed flush. Long time left in the round. Now and then. Blood along the bridge of the nose of Lewis as he busts Holyfield with a four-punch combination. Later in the round, holding him, punishing him. It's open already. So far, he's following it almost to the T. But Holyfield lands a big left hook as Lewis carelessly drops his right hand. Getting a little out of it. Well, that'll do. Yeah, you got it. Upper cut yeah, for it. Lewis. Thunder on Holyfield backward when they come together. You don't follow a punch around. You just don't do that. Where Emmanuel Stewart. They both go down in the corner. Arthur Mercanti is going to rule it a slip. Really see the clean punches and the effect of aggressiveness. You can't miss shots like him. Not throwing many punches. Uppercut, uppercut. And Lewis misses. Goes to the body. If you want to finish... Don't follow him, Holyfield. Don't follow him. If you want to finish, Lennox, go to the body. Big round for Lennox Lewis. Lewis, 33 of 59, including 22 of 32 power shots. Don Turner is getting more desperate as he asks for just get a little closer and stay closer. You see, just you don't have right hand stops Evander in his tracks again. Lewis, every now and then, whenever he drops his hand or bend his waist, he get in trouble looking like the better one. When you think about what's going in. Well, when he uses the uppercut, George, he triples his effectiveness as an in-fighter. To his right, and make him throw his left hook. Lewis landed a short right hand with a thud. Thought for a minute he might have Holyfield. That's even better because if Holyfield charges him a little bit, he can even pull a power to it. 88, 83, Lennox Lewis. I like to make the whole field he gets aggressive, but I've, I've only seen aggressiveness in two rounds, and that's the third of the night. I thought he pulled out the knife by getting aggressive, just like he's doing now. Here comes the aggressiveness. Here comes the Holyfield rally. Here comes the indomitable warrior we've seen. Yeah, but Joe Lewis would never revert to all of that. Right hand for Holyfield. 
Right cross landed for Lewis. Get, make him miss by keeping your hands up. Uppercut landed again for Lewis. You know what? I don't want to talk about it. He found the mail. They had too many walls. It hasn't seemed like it tonight. This boy was an Olympic super middleweight, I mean heavyweight champion one time. And he lands a push show up for a big fight. And he did. Good right hand by Evander Holyfield. Big. Right now. Lewis. This fight may be the biggest anti-climax dramatically since the impeachment. But if a Brit wins, it will be the biggest news in the British Isles the for many, many, many a decade. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing here at Madison Square Garden, we go to the scorecards at this time. Judge at ringside, Eugenia Williams, scores about 115 to 113 in favor of Evander Holyfield. Judge at ringside, Stanley Christodoulou, scores about 116 to 113 in favor of Lennox Lewis. Judge at ringside, Larry O'Connell scores about 115 to 115, even a draw. The decision is even a draw. Both champions retain their belts. That's a travesty. That is, ladies and gentlemen, a travesty. An outrage, a highway robbery Lennox Lewis has just been robbed of the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. He won it, and he didn't get it.